Welcome to Wix. This is an introduction to Wix's HTML editor, so you can get familiar with it and learn how to use the tools inside. When the editor opens, your template will display. This is a drag and drop editor, so you only need to click on the component to customize, move, or delete them. The elements you place in your header and footer will be seen when navigating through all of your pages. For example, your site's logo, menu, and background. As you navigate through each page, you can see your logo and menu are always visible at the top, and this is because these elements are within your header. On the left-hand side, you have all of your site building tools. You can customize your pages, your site's design, add components, and customize your site's settings. The Pages icon will show you all the pages in your site. Just click on one to bring it up in the editor, so you can start working on it. You can manage all of your pages here, and you can add more pages here. Just choose the layout you want and name it. And it will add to your page list here. Next, you can reorder your pages by dragging and dropping it in your list. Click the settings icon next to the page for more options. You will be able to rename your page, duplicate, and delete your page here. Also customize each page's SEO from down here. And you can visit our Learning Center for more information on search engine optimization, which is an important part of your site. Last, change your page's style here. You can choose from one of our palettes, or click Edit Style to customize it even more. For example, if I want to change the style of my page to rounded edges, I can do this here. Just choose one you like, then customize it. And depending on the style you choose, you may be able to customize it even further. When you are done, click OK and Done. Last, you can change your page's transitions from down here. Just choose one you like. You can also click the Settings and SEO button down here to update this page's SEO. Now, click the Design icon to be taken to your Design Manager. Here you can customize your site's background, colors, and fonts. You can choose from one of our set styles or customize your own. Click Background and choose one. Or you can customize it with an image or pattern. Click Upload and Customize Background. Change Image. And you can choose from one of your already uploaded images or choose from one of ours. We have patterns and textures for you as well. You can also upload a new image here. Just choose an image from your computer, then customize your image scaling depending on what you want. Or you can choose a color for your background. Click Remove Image here, and then choose a color from the color selector. You can always delete your image by clicking the Remove Image button here. Next, choose the colors for your site. We have color palettes already set for you, or choose to customize your palette here. Then click on the color to customize. Last, customize your fonts. Choose from one of the preset schemes, which will format all the fonts in your text together, or click Customize Fonts, and you can customize each text separately, like your header, your paragraph text, etc. You will be able to customize each font type, the size, and color here. And when you are done, click the X. Next, the Add icon will let you add components to your site. Take a look through all of your categories. And when you find the type of component you want to add, click it and you will see all of your options. For example, I want to quickly add a Facebook Like button to my page. First, bring up the page by clicking the Pages icon. And select the page you want to add this to. Now click Social. Facebook Like, and drag and drop this onto your page. Now use the settings on the left to customize your Like button. And when you are done, you can click Back to Add to see all of your component choices. The Settings icon will allow you to customize your site's settings. Site Address will show you the web address of your site. You will need to publish your site in order to see this. 
keep in mind that your site will not go live online until you publish your site. And remember, the format of your free web address will be www.wix.com slash username slash document name. Favicon and Thumbnail will allow you to customize both the Favicon icon, which is the icon that appears on your browser tab when your site is open, as well as the thumbnail image that appears in your My Account page and when you post your site to social networks, like Facebook. Click Change under the component to customize it. Next, SEO will allow you to add meta tags to your site to improve visibility in search engine results. This is an important part of your site. Once you make your site, you want the right people to find it when searching online. You can learn more about improving your SEO by clicking this button here. Last, statistics will allow you to analyze your site's stats and traffic through Google Analytics. This is a premium feature, and you will need to upgrade and connect your own domain to your site in order to use it. When you click an item in the editor, a little toolbar will pop up over the item. You will be able to move the item by clicking it in the center and dragging and dropping it anywhere on your page. Or you can grab this top handle and drag the item up or down, which will keep your item aligned while moving it. The bottom handle will allow you to drag downward and make the component bigger, or vice versa. It will also move the other items on your page down, making your page longer depending on the direction you drag it. The Magnet tool will group your items together so you can resize items while keeping their composition. You can move your items backwards or forwards in your page, and you can delete an item here. Also remember when you click on an item, its settings will pop up on the left-hand side so you can customize it. Now on the top of your editor, you will see a toolbar. You can move this around the editor by grabbing it on the left and dropping it out of your way. First, you have the toggle grid icon. This will help you with the alignment of your items. Next, you can copy and paste items with these buttons here. Just select an item, click Copy, and then Paste. And you can drag and drop this anywhere on your page. Now you can preview your site, meaning you can see exactly how your site will look and act on a live browser. Go ahead and use the menu and buttons to navigate through your site, as one of your visitors will. Then click Back to Editor Mode. The Save button will save your site. And remember to do this every so often so you do not lose any work. Publish will actually publish your site online so you can see it in a live browser. You don't have to do this until you are ready, so take your time. And Upgrade will allow you to choose a premium package that will provide you with the extra services you may need, like connecting your own domain, removing the Wix ads, and more. Last, but definitely not least, if you click the Control key and click an item, you will be taken to the Alignment settings. Now if you need help at any time, click the blue question mark icon here to be taken to our editor help. There are video and written tutorials here to help you finish creating your site. And now you are a pro at using Wix's HTML editor. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep at it.